When I was 21 years old, I had someone approach me in church and tell me that they believed God wanted me to know that something remarkable had happened around the time of my birth. So I decided to ask my mom, did anything remarkable happen around the time of my birth? She said, yes, I met an angel and I don't want to talk about it. That surprised me, but she really seemed serious when she said she didn't want to talk about it, so I left it alone. I ended up going away for a couple months to do a summer project working with kids in the inner city. And then when I got back home and I saw my mom again, I asked her, Mom, what do you mean that you met an angel? What happened? She said, I can't tell you because you would hate me. And I said, Mom, I wouldn't hate you. But she was really hesitant. She kept on repeating, you'll hate me if I tell you this. Finally, she decided to open up and be transparent. She told me that when she got pregnant with me, my dad already had two kids at the time, and he didn't want to have another, and so he pressured her to have an abortion. She was going to a church at the time, so she went to talk to her mentor. She told her mentor that she was pregnant. When her mentor heard that, she said, if you come back to this church, I will be the first person to put my foot in the door and not let you in. So because of that pressure from my dad and the rejection from her mentor and the fear and uncertainty, she made an appointment at Mount Sinai Hospital in Hartford, Connecticut to abort me. She went alone to her appointment and she met with a counselor before, but the counselor didn't really give her any counsel. She only told her that she was making the right decision. She was put in a hospital robe and told to wait until the doctor called her name. So she sat alone in the hallway in a hospital gown. At that moment, an African-American janitor saw her crying. She walked up to her, lifted up her chin, looked her in the eyes and said, do you want to have this baby? My mother said, yes. And the woman said, then God will give you the strength to have this child. She got up and she was going to leave, but then the doctor called her name. When she went into his office, she saw blood on the floor from the last abortion. She was disgusted, and she said, I'm leaving. I want to have my baby. But he said, no, you've already paid for this. She said again, I want to have my baby. But he said, you're just nervous. You'll get through it. Again, she said that she wanted to keep me. But then he yelled at her and said, don't leave this room. But she didn't listen. She ran out. She called my dad and he came to pick her up. She ended up leaving the house right after she told me, and I went to sit on her bed, and I just began to cry. And I felt at that moment that God had rescued me, that he wanted me before I was even born, and that he made a way for me to live. I had never talked about abortion in my home, and I had never really talked about it with my family, but at that moment, it became so personal to me, and I was incredibly grateful for my mother's courage in walking out and choosing to give me the gift of life. <laughs>